Hello friends, this is your friendly neighborhood Reza and you are welcome to channel Reza Blade if you're on YouTube and you're watching the video. If you're live with me today, thank you for joining me. We are continuing and working on the end of our journey uh, through October to open the beautiful advent calendar um, or advent package or whatever it is <laughs> countdown to Halloween uh, Butometry did a 13 item version and a 20 item version and this whole month I have been opening the 20 item version items with you uh, and showing you uh, ways to use them or sometimes just random tutorials <laughs> to sort of take up some time that I might be able to spend with you every day. So uh, we see here that we've got three items left. Uh, today is the 28th, the actual day of Halloween. I'll be doing some work on the beautiful gnome Halloween plate that we opened up earlier in the month. Today we're going to open day 18 and uh, this should promise to be fun. I am interested in what everybody is wearing for your Halloween costume. Do tell me in the comments uh, what you're going to be if you've decided. I'm very interested. Um, and if you're if you don't usually c comments and likes and subscribes, they all really help me out. Um, the comments help people uh, kind of find me as. Uh, YouTube suggests new videos, but if, if you haven't really left a comment before, or I don't, uh, do know your name, do leave your name. I like to know if it's really different from your YouTube uh, name, number, whatever, um, handle. I can't think of the actual word I'm looking for right now, but sometimes, you know, you can't tell your name from the, uh, from your user name for YouTube. All right, looks like we've got some, uh, looks like we've got some powder today. Uh, the last one in last year's uh, countdown advent box. Sorry, my words are, I'm struggling with words today. Uh, sometimes my brain does that with the brain fog and fibro and everything. Anyway, so the last time it was amazing and I broke it very soon after Halloween and which is very sad to me. Now, last time it didn't really look too much like it did before, like in the, in the actual pan, it was very different on the nail itself. So just to see how this is going to look, I am putting a little bit of black here so that I can play with that. And then I will be using a black stamping polish to first find out what this beautiful powder is going to look like. So this is the way I normally use powders. The first thing I do with them is going to be kind of uh, my normal thing. Now I do have some extra, I always keep extra applicators because sometimes if you keep these too long, the ones that come in the package, um, they can kind of dry rot. Like I have some five-year-old ones and they're in terrible shape and they kind of crumble into pieces. So always keep some extras around your workstation or in your like mani area. And so what I'm going to do here is a couple of things. First, I, I'm actually, I don't, I don't know why I decided to do this, but I'm actually opening a plate that Butometry sent me. Um, I will eventually cover this, I think, in a different live. But this is a Be Loves Plates uh, steampunk plate. Really, really cool. I'm a big fan. And I'm going to stamp with this plate on this nail. And then we're going to find out what it looks like when you stamp in, when you use black polish. So I'm going to use one of my more opaque stampers because this method will kind of cloud up any clear stampers you have but I mean I have like you know 18 of these so but I do tend to use the cloudier ones so that I don't mess up my good ones all right let's see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the applicator 
A little goes a long way with this stuff. And now I want to know what it looks like in both black and white because it will look different usually. So now that that's on there, I'm going to put the powder aside and we're going to use black and white stamping polishes at the same time. So let me use this top tile and I'm going to take one black swipe and one white swipe so that we can kind of see what this looks like. I'm trying to stay in frame for everybody. All right. And you do want to move just as quick as normal stamping. So All right. So what does this look like? Wow. That is pretty cool. So that is our, that is so cool. That's like a bluish green in the middle there. I really like the black color best, I think. So another way that we can use this powder is that I'm going to, now it may take you a few swipes with your, uh, if you put too much on, which I did, because like I did say, a little goes a very long way. It might take you a little bit of work with your lint roller to get all that powder off. I'm getting some better cleaning done now. So, some back and forth action on this thing. And we're, we're clean now. So, let me do the thing that we do next. So this is going to be exciting. I have a stamping polish from Hit the Bottle. It is called Stick With Me. It is a white sticky stamping polish. Now it works with foils too, which is awesome. Uh, but it also works with powders. So I'm going to clean off this old stamping plate or this new stamping plate. And get this going. We're going to use, just, just to be really, um, what's the word, consistent, I'm going to use the uh, same stamp. Let me grab one of my white nails so that I don't have to put down a top coat or anything. I mean a base coat of polish or anything. I'm just going to use one of these white nails. And that way we can tell when the polish is being very sticky because it'll start showing up as colors that are not white when we rub the powder on it. So I do have to be a little bit fastidious here and get rid of that. Get rid of that little bit at the end there. All right, well, let's go. I'm gonna take this polish. Now I think Michelle's uh, recommendation was to wait about 30 seconds after you stamp it down for it to be kind of tacky. So I'm swiping, I'm rolling, and I'm trying to get that to stick down. All right, let me kind of, there. Now I can be zoomed in. And uh, I think I will have one more uh, plate to give away um, around Halloween. So if you haven't already entered the Embrace the Darkness 02 plate giveaway that we're giving away the second plate in the Embrace the Darkness Hit the Bottle series. Um, but uh, I will go ahead and include a link in this video to get to the entrance video. All right.
Let's get this done, shall we? So, let's see if this works. Now, one thing I did do wrong is that Michelle said you need to be doing this on a matte nail so it doesn't stick to absolutely everything. And this is not a matte nail. So, let's see if this is working out. No, it looks like it went down over the whole thing. And by the way, that is beautiful on the white, too. I like, there's like a white and a green, there's like a pink and a gray iridescence. There, that's a little bit better picture quality. So let's try this. Let's try a mattifying top coat. Uh, this is Nevermind's Mattify Me. That's what the name of the top coat is. Mattify Me. I'm going to let that dry for a minute there. These adventures in powder are fun. I do have also, I'll, I'll remember to uh, put in the description field, uh, I have some other videos on working with powders. So that will be fun. Hopefully if you're if you're interested in all these powders and you're like, oh, well, I, I really want to know more about how to use these things. So I do have a few instructions out there I've already put into the world. All right. We're still not quite dry with our mattifying, but you can see where it's already starting to mattify things. I'm going to pick this back up and go ahead and see if it, it'll probably enhance it when I, um, it'll enhance the look when I top coat, just because top coating always gives things that finished, polished look, not, not using the pun intentionally there, but it does make things look more polished. That is so interesting, this powder. I wish you could see, well, you can actually, you can go back and watch last year's Countdown to Halloween videos. They're all on my channel. Uh, but I, I had so much fun with that other powder. All right. And I do really like that steampunk plate. Let's get going now. All right. I'm going to just do a little bit more cleaning this up. And we're going to use the sticky polish. Should we use a black and a white? I don't know. Let's just use the white. Oh, I'm an idiot. I said use the sticky polish and I pulled out the regular hit the bottle white. All right, here we go. We're going to use the sticky one. Laying down the polish, just a single scrape. You always want to be scraping the lowest number of times you can get away with. All right, and now we're going to kind of neaten this up. Looks like I didn't have the nail centered on the nail stand. And when I don't center my nails on the nail stand, it is possible for the stamping action to, to dislodge it. But these are much more stable than those little magnetic ones that you know, break and fall off on you. So uh, those I just use for my videos. I don't use them regularly. All right. So I think we might have been to 30 seconds now. Let's give this a roll. Let's get going. Well, I see some dampness still, kind of, I think. Oh, cool. That is so cool. All right, everybody. Can you see that? That is awesome. I like how that just, you can, you can see the stamping polish because that's where it 
it picked up. Look at that. That is so cool. Well, now I want to do it on a nail that isn't white. That is so neat. That worked exactly like Michelle said it would. And uh, that is a lot of fun. All right. Maybe I should use a Halloween image now if I want to get... Let's see. Um, I've got these two going already. I think I have some clear... What's the word? Here we go. I have a clear one. So we don't have to wait for me to paint it again. Goodness gracious. Okay, here we go. Just pulling one out. So that we can do a Halloween image with the powder. And then I will vamoose. Tomorrow we're going to be doing noon again, noon central time, as our uh, time for the next video. All right, let me see. We're going to use this one right here, okay? So I'm going to try to mattify this, see if that works. I doubt it, but I mean, maybe. And then I'll chat at you in real life here, and I'll just edit this waiting period out in the final video that goes to YouTube. Now we're going to go ahead and try this again. I am doing a negative space stamp this time, so I'm going to put a little bit more polish than I normally do. And I'm going to grab a hard card. Not perfect, but not bad either. So there's what that looks like on that clear nail. And I'm going to clean up, and that should give us time for that to get tacky. I actually really like that clouds image on the on the clear nail. That, that might give me an idea for an upcoming mani. And I did do a mani from the new Halloween plates that I unboxed with you just the other day. I don't know if you saw it, but I did post it a couple of different places. I'll put a little image of it here so you can tell me what you think about it. All right, here we go. We're going to give this another try. Let's we'll see if that mattifying top coat on top of nothing at all worked to give us the difference of, no, that was wet polish, so I'm going to stay away from that area. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. How cool is that? Alrighty. Well, there's a couple techniques to use that sticky stamping polish and the powder. Um, I believe the sticky stamping polish should be available in both the white and the black. Uh, Butometry should carry them. If not, uh, Hit the Bottle has a few other stockists in the U.S. or a couple other stockists in the U.S. But uh, I'm always a fan of anything Michelle from Hit the Bottle releases. Always a fan. And if you have both the white and the sticky, you will notice that the Hit the Bottle logo is hollow on the sticky polishes. And it's the regular silver on the regular white and black that are not sticky. And there we have it, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy Friday. And uh, I can't wait to talk to you tomorrow and see what we open then. Bye-bye.